So what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I am of course Lethal Apollo and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to get the golden spork in Blood of the Dead Black Ops 4 Zombies. It can be a little tedious and tricky to get at times but I'm pretty sure by following this guide you should get it by round 15. If this guide helps you out drop me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel with your notifications on so you never miss an upload. And with that being said let's jump right into this. There is a few prerequisites before we get this item guys, firstly being the power, second you will need the shield, thirdly you will need the Hell's Retriever and we're also going to need one of the Magnagat or the Acid Gat, either or it doesn't matter but you will need an upgraded variant. With that being said, let's jump right into this. There will be links in the description and the cards on screen to help you if you need help with the other items. But once you've got everything, you want to come to the warden's office with your shield, go into spectral mode, and you will see three numbers on the wall. In our gameplay, the numbers were 1, 2, and 4, in that order. So, we need to go and enter that into the little meter in the Citadel Tunnels, so go ahead and make your way down to the Citadel Tunnels. But as I said, guys, make sure you've got enough charge in your shield. You're going to need two shield blasts. One for the electric meter to enter the numbers and one for the power generator for the crane. So make your way down the bottom of the side of our tunnel and then you want to shock this little machine and the numbers will be illuminated. Enter one, two, four or whatever the numbers are in your game. Once you've done that you'll hear a character quote letting you know you've done it correctly and then you can make your way down to the dock area. Now what we're going to do is we're going to again shock this machine or this electric meter should I say to power up the crane. So go ahead and shock it and this crane will now start to move. As soon as it stops it will only stay there for a few seconds so as soon as the crane stops go ahead and throw your tomahawk up at the skull that's inside and the skeleton will drop a spoon. This is your sport guys so go ahead and pick it up and we can now start with the upgrade process. This is actually better than using the knife and it's still a one hit kill even up to about round 11 I believe. I'm not 100% sure. But now guys this is where we're going to need the blunder gat varianted upgrade. It doesn't matter whether you have the magna gat or the acid gat either or. And now you want to make your way over towards the rooftop. You can use the fast travel system from the cafeteria, or to the cafeteria should I say, that will take you straight to the roof. And just as you're coming through these bathtub areas, the one room with the bathtub on its own, go ahead, press square and place your spoon in that bathtub. You now want to go up onto the rooftop and start getting kills with your upgraded blundergat guys. You do need to use one of the upgraded blundergats. I'm not sure if any other weapon, your specialists and stuff count. I have tried using other pack-a-punch weapons that don't work. The blundergat is the only weapon I've found to work so far. You feel free to try out your specialists and whatnot. But as you can see, there's blood dripping in the bath now from those kills. So we want to fill the bath up with blood, so you're going to need to do this for around about a full round. It will take quite a few zombies. It's not very easy by any means, but it's not too difficult. You should be able to get it done in a round at the most. Go ahead and get as many kills as you can using your upgraded blundergat on the rooftop. And then when you feel you've got enough, go back down, check the bathtub. If the bathtub is full, you can go ahead and hold square on it you'll hear it start to empty and your spoon should have disappeared. As you can see the spoon's now disappeared so we can move on to the final step guys. This is actually not too difficult. We got it by round 15. Other games it's took us to about round 17, 18 to get it but we got it quite early in this game. But basically once you've emptied the bathtub you want to make your way back over towards the catwalk area so just keep killing off the zombies. If a new round has started, I recommend finishing that round first. So you either only have a couple of zombies left at the end of the round, or you finish the round entirely, just to give you a minute to grab the golden spore. But you want to make your way back up to the catwalk. As soon as you've took all the zombies out, come to the middle area where this big water barrel is. It's like the uh, water system for the prison. When we entered the bathtub, our golden spork ended up in there. You should see blood from the top of the tower leaking out now, and that means that we are good to go. 
So I recommend using your secondary weapon, not the blundergat. The secondary weapon helps you get an aim. And line your sight up so the top crosshair is just touching the middle pipe. And throw your tomahawk, you will collect the golden spork. It's as simple as that, guys. It really is. And it's an awesome little weapon. It is awesome for killing... For killing the warden. I think the warden is now a two-knife kill he used to be one but it's two it's been updated but zombies are a one knife kill up until the late 20s i think 25 26 then it'll start to become two hits but guys if this video helped you out and you now have the golden spork drop me a thumbs up subscribe to the channel with your notifications on so you never miss an upload and until next time guys take care of yourselves and each other i've been lethal apollo you guys have been awesome and i'll see you in my next video